All right, I made a mistake, and late in the evening, I downloaded the latest version of eSignal, and um, you know, all my charts are a different color, <laughs> and I had to put moving averages back on all the charts. Um, it didn't save my settings, so anyway, uh, it took up a lot of time, so a late video here. Um, and I want to get used to looking at black charts, um, which I'm actually happy to do. I, the last time I went through and changed all of them to kind of an off-white, but um, I actually think it's going to be easier on my eyes. But at the same time, as silly as this sounds, when you get used to looking at these same exact charts set up over and over and over, and then you switch one little thing like the color, um, it literally can throw you off for a while. Um, I know that sounds silly. So anyway, um, <clears throat> and I'm not sure how, how well these are going to come out on video, but I guess we'll see. Anyway, YOD... Um, you get three red candles. I'd like to see this get down maybe below the eight-day moving average, but then it'll go on bounce watch. I think it's certainly worth having on a chart tomorrow, but I think it's a little early looking for a bounce in that one, but probably not tomorrow. Abercrombie and Fitch, um, again, 30 is such a significant area. i got to get used to these charts again. So there's the weekly. And you can see how significant the 30 area is. Yes, we're below it. Um, All right, there. I threw a line in there so you can see we are, you know, basically kind of right at that area. Remember, support and resistance are areas, not exact numbers. So I still think ANF uh, is worth watching. Let's go back to the daily now. Um, because we had a couple days down, today was kind of a narrow range, especially compared to yesterday. And, um, and it looks like we might be trying to turn up. So I'm actually looking for a bounce in this one tomorrow. <clears throat> if anybody knows, by the way, in my old version of eSignal, I could have these uh, time frames, one minute, two minute, and so on. I could have them all on my title bar and just click on them. And I love that, and I cannot figure out how to do that on this one. So if anyone knows, shoot me an email. I'd be thrilled. Um, okay, S-U-N-E. That didn't work either. All right, S-U-N-E, um, what, about four or five days in a row down. 18 area was kind of support back here. It went down below it, but now you kind of have a little doji or hammer candle. Um, if solar's get any kind of bounce, I'm looking for this one to come back up into this range. So that's just on bounce watch. K-A-T-E. Um, very nice pop a couple days ago. A couple um, lower volume days down. That goes on bounce watch. JKS, another solar, um, really kind of finding its, its support here and closing at, at the top of the, almost the top of the range today. I like this if it gets back up over the 20 day. So let's watch JKX, eight, I can't talk, JKS, Activision, ATVI, um, gapped up the other day and then found support and it looks to be headed higher. It's right at the 200 day, but the fact that it closed near the top of its range today, um, this one could come up and retest the recent highs uh, around 2150. So I want to watch ATBI. Lionsgate LGF <clears throat> probably running into the. Um, uh, oh, what's that? What's that movie? Hunger Games. Sorry, just thought of it. Uh, probably running into the release of Hunger Games. I'm not even sure what the date is, but a very nice pop today and not a lot of resistance in the way. So um, I want to watch this for a continuation tomorrow. And OCN. Kind of an ugly chart here, um, but this could have been capitulation. It held for a while, popped, pulled back, and now looks to have found a higher low here. And it really had a nice finish if I switch to uh, five minute candles. Check out this finish on the day. Uh, finished very strong, so that's interesting to me. It makes me wanna, makes me wanna watch it tomorrow. All right, um, that's the list I'm starting with. The guys do a great job, man. Check out the results page from today, or, or I tweeted, uh, I tweeted a screenshot of what uh, our, at Zozo Trader on Twitter. He's one of our moderators, been with us like 10 years. Um, my God, he was just on fire today. So uh, if you get a chance, go to Twitter and check out. Um, well, I'm at Great Stock Picks, and uh, I posted a, um, a little screenshot of his calls today. Just really, really impressive. And so this list uh, may be irrelevant tomorrow, and we'll just uh, we'll just trade Zozo's calls. But uh, also, we're good at finding reversals, uh, intraday reversals, and those sort of trades as well. So anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. It's later than I wanted to be, and I didn't get to put my heart and soul into the list tonight because I ended up uh, tweaking charts for the last couple hours, which I really wasn't planning on. So 
Um, we'll be back at it tomorrow. Have a good night.